Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and Bomber Crew. So I just took a look at the briefing room here and we actually unlocked the next critical mission. I guess it was unlocked by us destroying the radar stations maybe. So Operation Lalantus. We received intelligence that a high ranking enemy officer is visiting a secret HQ at Olderhorst. The area is scattered with radar sites, avoid them at all costs and take the enemy by surprise. Alright. Surprende! Uh, I wonder... Yeah. Oh, we have a new fight race. Merrick Jäger. Jäger. Jägermeister. I wonder... Um, Um, have you seen anything we need to fix with our crew gear? I mean, sometimes they take a lot of damage. Can't avoid by feeling like they might be taking a little bit uh, too much damage. Yes, you can take a flak helmet. If this also, if we are going. Um, to go really high? If, if this is a night mission, we could go high and navigate by the stars. So, but then we might want to have some oxygen masks. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, mm, mm, yeah. 45 armor, 66 armor. Holy crap. I have a feeling that our these two dudes, they have like nothing. <laughs> I haven't really taken a look at these gears at all. She's not even wearing a flight suit. I have a camo, I guess. Or do everyone have the same, I guess? Yeah. Anyways. Um, mm, I don't know. I've, like, either they take so much damage that they are just straight up dead, or they take no damage. I guess it's because as long as the fuselage is holding up, it's no problem. A 22 armor, holy crap, get freaking. get something. Something, man. Or medic. A navigator. I feel like you actually might be useful to run around a bit more, since. Um, you have med kit and uh, or medic skills, and the fact that you are navigator. So when we set the navigation point, we don't really need you to. What? This doesn't give us anything. Any. Nothing negative? Okay. Well... Sign me up. It's, it's, it's pretty much free as well. Didn't I see this before? What, like what? Sense. Right. <laughs> That's really good. You really want us to go on high altitudes now, so maybe I should take a look at these normal boots. Um. Yeah. Some boots. You are our radio operator. I don't really move that much, but you do have that extra gunner. And that reason was because if the electrics are down, you could go and grab a gun while the engineer is fixing that. So, I mean, there is a reason for it, it's just not a very good reason. Let's take a look what we can do. We have a lot of weight to use. 
Maybe it's time for more fire extinguishers. Grab one more or two more. Grab this and then we are set. And then we lose the aircraft and then we spent this money for nothing. Well, maybe. And fuselages. Mm. I feel like we need better uh, fuselages soon. But see what happens. Don't have enough power to use this turret. Now the interesting part with the ventral turret is that it doesn't get used that much but sometimes you get these heavy fighters below you and then you really want to take care of them fast so having a strong ventral turret might be really good. We grab one more good engine I guess. Oh, <laughs> so freaking expensive. When will we get new gun turrets? Mm, take some time. Uh, we're going to go into radar position with a lot of radar, so we will get a lot of fighters against us. Let's just grab some better engines so we so we have more. HP. Going to be fine. Armor down. Hmm. Why do I have a feeling that something bad will happen on this mission? And it's not a night mission either, so we can't navigate to the stars. Use your navigator to spot and navigate around enemy radar sites. Right, we will do that. Try to do that in at least. It would be easier if you knew where these things were before we are too late. But we will we will take a look. When we get to Belgium, we need to, I guess this, maybe this is Netherlands, we need to use our trusty radio for recon, which I kind of never, oh, it's actually a nighttime mission, never mind. I'm guessing we will have enemies spawning in soon. I want to wait a little bit longer. Right. Oh, ready for recon. Can we go around this? Hmm. Lean's ready to use. Well, we might have to use lean since. fighters yet. I wonder when they will show up. Come on, mouse. Work with me here. Nearby hazard. Try to go between here. I don't know if that will work. I see. When we choose another one, our custom marker gets shown again. That's pretty cool. Mm. 
Can we need radio for recon soon? Uh, almost. An airfield here. That's not good, is it? Well, it's kind of destroyed, I guess. Radio for recon. Give me some intel. Yeah, we have our target. Um, where is our custom marker, please? Oh. The officer might be okay. Let's boost. Can uh, you go down, open doors, collect all freaking bombs? We are doing this. Enemy fighters, maybe I should target them first. It's your job. Medium altitude. I think we had something to target back here. There we have it. Half our remaining few. Well, let's go. A little bit easier. So we have seen not a single freaking fighter. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get all the way over there. Get our some ourselves some recon. I want to go on low altitude. We can target this thing soon. We're going to do a mission without a single freaking fighter. Is that even possible? I guess we have enough experience to take uh, photos from medium altitude, if I remember correctly. Smile! Let's go! Mr. Bomberman, get up here. Let's not go into the freaking area of effect here. A um, little bit too close for comfort, but okay. I guess we can mark that and just wait until we are in a good angle and then we will turn. We 
pretty interesting uh, setup this. I wonder what would have happened if he fled, would we have to chase him or something? And do precision bombing with uh, Lancaster? Fighters, okay, we are actually going to have a fight here. Okay. Well, that's kind of. Tower. I, mean, I was looking at our own shadow, yeah. I thought it was a heavy fighter coming in from below, but... Look at the damage she took. And she has so much armor. No idea how she was able to take that heat, but alright. Well, okay. I, I don't know. That's weird. Had to fight one freaking patrol. Did quite a lot of damage here, though. Aiming for our fuel tanks, they don't know that they are reinforced. There we go. Get a bumpy ride here. Oh, she's gone crazy. Oh. Gunner still have two things to unlock, that's pretty weird. I would think that level 10 would be the maximum level before they like don't get anything new, but what do I know? The recon photo skills has a lot of money, but not a lot of intel actually. Interesting, I think it was almost the other way around in the early game. You got a lot of intel, but no money. Or comparably more Intel than money at least. Incendiary. Nice. I wonder. I mean, this kind of tells us that Susan is getting more kills. I always got the feeling that uh, Tail Turret was doing most of the work, but maybe it's actually the Top Turret. I think because I never reload for Earl Thompson. Maybe. Baseball dinghy and then extinctures Mark IV. Right. We are in the fifth. Hmm. I wonder. Have we unlocked more? He says no. And uh, flak operations down. Oh, we 
Sun rockets. Landing beaches reconnaissance. Okay. Avoid detection by radar, but stay above the AA guns. Must retain the element of surprise. And that sounds <laughs> difficult. I have a feeling, like this is my feeling, that this, um, this mission, landing beaches reconnaissance, that this is meant to prepare you for the critical mission. I always feel like you get these kind of raiding missions where they introduce a new mechanic or something. Like in preparation for the allied invasion, you are to photograph the enemy defenses. So either we will have to uh, photograph these enemy defenses and that, that we will have to bomb them later on, I'm guessing. On maybe the critical mission. This feels very much like Normandy or something. As it says, landing beaches. Um, I don't know. Uh, might want to do flak operations down though. I always like to have at least one of these buffs, but well, maybe we try this one. Man should avoid the radars on this mission, so maybe it's not that difficult. We might also think this way, if we lose our crew, it will take forever to level up someone that can put down custom markers, a navigator that can put down custom markers. So if we do a bunch of other missions and we lose our navigator, we will have to do, I don't know, 10 missions to level them up until they can put down custom markers. So, you know. That might be a pretty good idea. My ideas are always good. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode. And I will see you again next time. Goodbye.